Well, would you look at that, Rust? I can shoot vertical as well. I'm telling you, this one is going to root out some fanboys. The Canon M50 was released back in 2018. Such a good little camera, not only is it Canon's biggest selling mirrorless camera, but it's also one of, if not the biggest selling mirrorless cameras on the market to date. It's a brilliant little camera. So obviously Canon would want to refresh it, get a new model out, try and get some more sales, try and build on that success. However, I suspect they've misunderstood what the phrase means, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Because they've just announced the M50 Mark II. Except it seems the only difference between the original M50 and the M50 Mark II is that the new one has the words Mark II written on it. If you don't believe me, let's run through the specs. In terms of the body design, it's identical to the M50. I don't just mean the button layouts are exactly the same. I mean the body size, the dimensions of it are exactly the same. Even the weight is exactly the same as the original M50. It carries a 24.1 megapixel sensor, exactly the same as the Canon M50. That's coupled up to a Digic 8 processor, meaning you get exactly the same image quality with the Mark II as the original M50. Do you know what? I'm going to shrink this video down. I'm going to speed things up. I'm not going to keep saying that's the same as the original M50. From now on, I'm just going to substitute that with the word Kipper. The M50 Mark II can shoot up to 10 frames a second without continuous autofocus, Kipper, or 7.4 frames a second with continuous autofocus, Kipper. It can shoot 4K up to 24 frames a second, Kipper, 1080p up to 60 frames a second, Kipper, and 720 up to 120p, Kipper. It even carries exactly the same video bit rates. There's no improvements there. The only two marginal differences that I can see in terms of shooting speeds and video performance is I believe the buffer of the Mark II might be a fraction larger than the M50, but not by much. I believe from memory the M50 could do 10 RAWs in a burst and the Mark II could do 10 RAW and JPEG in a burst. And the 4K video on the original M50 had a 1.7 times crop on top of the standard APS-C crop, and I believe the Mark II is only 1.5. Well, slap me sideways and call me Nancy. That's a massive improvement over the original. All of the advertisements from Canon and the Canon ambassadors, they're basically all like spewing out these specs like there's some new and wonderful features. The only fundamental differences really that they're talking about over the M50 is the fact that it's got vertical shooting for doing Instagram. I'm not entirely sure what vertical shooting is actually supposed to be as a feature in the camera because you can mount any camera sideways. They're pushing that it can be used as a webcam, which the M50 can be used as a webcam since Canon released the updated EOS utility to allow it to be used as a webcam. So unless I'm missing something, there doesn't appear to be much of a benefit there either. And you can do live streaming on YouTube, which realistically is a very small target market considering you can't do live streaming on YouTube if you don't have more than a thousand subscribers anyway. And if you have the original M50 as a webcam on a computer, you can live stream using that. So they're clearly targeting the M50 Mark II down the road of vloggers and YouTubers. But the actual differences there between them, what, what differences they've made, aren't really going to impact that many people. And I imagine the majority of people who bought the original M50 bought it more for the stills capabilities and the travel friendliness. And there's no major differences in that aspect between the M50 and the M50 Mark II. The only arguable big difference in that area on paper is the autofocus. Now, the fundamental AF system remains exactly the same. 
Still dual pixel autofocus, same number of AF points because it's on the same sensor with the same processor. So there's no hardware improvements. They've tweaked the software to now allow continuous eye autofocus in both stills and video. Now, at least at the time of me recording this, there are no independent hands-on reviews of the M50 online. There are Canon videos, who obviously you can't trust them because they're sales pitches, and there's one review from a Canon ambassador. And obviously they're gonna be completely honest about everything as well. But they've done a side-by-side -side comparison between the original M50 and the M50 Mark II, and they tried to say the Mark II can catch focus on the face and the eye faster than the original M50. Except if you watch the sample that they put up, the two clips aren't in sync with each other, so the M50 Mark II is ahead of the M50, but in terms of distance to camera, both cameras latch onto the subject at the same distance. So it looks like it's just that the Mark II has eye autofocus that the M50 doesn't. Now, don't get me wrong, eye autofocus is a fantastic feature to have, both in stills and in video, it's brilliant to use. But what, what throws me is that it's all software-based, it's firmware-related. Sony have already shown you can add and improve autofocus features like that via a firmware update. The limitations come when the processor isn't up to the job, except it seems to all intents and purposes from all the material that I've read so far, that the processor in the M50 Mark II is exactly the same processor that's in the M50. There's certainly no major changes to the processing unit of the M50 Mark II because the rest of the specs remain pretty much exactly the same. So essentially, it looks like the M50 Mark II is a $600 firmware upgrade over the original M50. I think at the very best case scenario for Canon is even if it did turn out that the processor in the Mark II is some sort of hardware revised version so it couldn't just be all done with a firmware upgrade to the M50. Firstly, they should have renamed the processor like Digic 8 Plus or something to make it apparent that there's actually a difference between the two. Secondly, that is not a two-year upgrade over an M50. To just have such a, a subtle change to the processor that it tweaks the autofocus slightly. That it doesn't even improve the shooting speed. That the buffer isn't hugely improved. That it can't add better video specs. I mean, genuinely, unless I'm missing something, it seems the only difference is of this whole new camera is some software-based tweaks that could have been done with a firmware update, a slightly less shit 4K crop that shouldn't have existed two years ago, much less still here now, and a slightly deeper buffer that most people probably wouldn't notice anyway. Have you got any idea what they've added that I've missed? Even he's fallen asleep. I mean, is there anything that we've missed? Is there some huge big upgrade that's so revolutionary that kind of forgot to include it in the promotion video? Or is it just the world's most expensive firmware upgrade? Let me know your thoughts and comments in the box down below while you're down there. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Yeah.